everybody and welcome back to City Skylines. Last episode was absolutely terrible. We were doing really, really bad with our city. We were losing money. We were losing people. People were getting sick, ill, dying, houses on fire. It was a catastrophe. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start afresh. When I started at episode one, I'd really only played the game for a few hours. Since then, I've played a ton more. I've done like three more cities since then. So I kind of have a better idea of what we're doing this time around. So we're going to start a new game. This time we're gonna call it new Isaacville like so new Isaacville 2.0 I think we'll call it and hmm which one of the maps should we play on I think I want to change it up and I think what about the diamond coast it's got quite a bit of stuff we don't want too much water I was thinking Lagoon Shaw but Lagoon Shaw has a massive amount of water compared to some of the other maps and Plus, Diamond Coast has 69% area suitable for building, which, I mean, I kind of think of a better percentage of area for building. So, yeah, we're going to go with this. We're going to start New Isaacville 2.0. Uh, don't even think about questioning my city naming skills. Uh, just think about it. You would love to live in New Isaacville 2.0. Think about it. You're out of town. You're talking to someone, and they're like, hey, where did you get that accent from? Where, 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 whereabouts in the world are you from? And you're like, well, I'm from New Isaacville 2.0. You love it, right? You'd sound so cultured, so amazing. Someone would be like, where the heck is he from? I want to I wanna go live there. Anyway, I'm going to pause the game straight away. And uh, we don't want time ticking by too much. This looks like it could be kind of good, but also kind of bad. Uh, the thing I think that looks good is we have a lot of land. We have a lot of space to work with. Uh, and the roads kind of start in the middle, which I like. It's nice for symmetry. What I don't like is the water here. The water, I don't think, is really moving which could be good. I just try to press play there to see if it was moving. But the downside is we might have to put both a water pump and a sewage pipe very close together, which, uh, as we saw last time, resulted in a lot of people getting really sick really quick. And uh, and that's not good. People die that way. You get houses, bodies pile up. Things, things are not good. Uh, we're going to go a little bit slower this time. I think I rushed things a bit too much last time around. And for whatever reason, when you start off still, you cannot use anything but the first road. So again, I'm kind of just going to do something like this. Boom. And I'm actually going to instantly delete that because we don't want that happening. And one big problem that I didn't really think about uh, in the last series, I didn't really know about uh, until recently, is traffic. Traffic is a huge thing uh, in this game. And there's actually a little menu up here. And traffic is one of the things. You can kind of see what the traffic's like. And uh, on our old city, we had a lot of red. A lot of red. The traffic was terrible. That's what causes the garbage to pile up. Because when the, tr the garbage trucks can't get around to all the houses, people end up with ma massive piles of garbage. Then they get angry. Then people get sick. Then people die. And it just doesn't work out well at all. So we do need to focus on traffic a lot more this time around. And I think to start with, what we're going to do is... This is the way they come in. People got out. Uh, we do need to use one-way roads, I think, a lot more this time around. These are roads that people can obviously only go down one way. And I think to start with, we're going to pull one of these kind of off here and out this way. Now, as, uh, as always in the early game, we want to make sure that we don't run out of money. Because these roads are very expensive. Uh, if we were to do something like this, that would cost us just shy of $20,000. Uh, so we're not going to do that at all. We're, in fact, going to do something like this. Now... One of the things that causes a lot of traffic is uh, cars stopping to kind of make deliveries. So if you have a lot of industrial, a lot of commercial, or even a lot of residential on some of your busiest roads, uh, cars are going to come up, they're going to stop, they're going to deliver stuff, and it's going to cause a massive backup of traffic, which is not really a good thing at all. So I think I'm also going to do the same thing leaving the city here. We're going to have another one-way road that kind of goes out of the city. Now, I think that's going to work fine. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Now, I... Hmm... I think it does matter which way you build the road, but that should be fine. You can see that's going, arrows are pointing this way. So they can leave the city using that one. Now, I think what we're going to do from here is kind of build, let's see. We do want to have some roads that go both ways. And I guess what we'll do is we'll kind of build, I still like to have my uh, industrial separated from my residential. So what I'm thinking is we might build a little bit of residential kind of down here using, again, smaller roads like that and then we'll just stick residential all around this get ourselves i didn't realize this was a thing either the marquee tool uh basically what you can use this for is just drawing big boxes look at that boom i'm not sure if you can actually rotate that box it's on a bit of a a weird angle i think it might work perfectly uh, 
kind of works perfectly. Not, not, not perfectly, but it works. It works okay. It works okay. Uh, so we'll have some residential down there. I think we'll have some kind of industrial over here, maybe. Uh, I do kind of want to keep these roads clear. Like I said, I don't want traffic stopping uh, anywhere near the intake or outtake from our city because this is where the bulk of the traffic problems occur, especially when we're getting a lot of new people and a lot of people are kind of leaving, and especially when we unlock new areas of the city as well. So let's do something like this. And for the time being, we'll just stick down a bunch of industrial kind of over... Oh, that box is so uneven. We'll do it like that, and then we'll kind of just fill in this back bit here like so. You can go there. That looks perfect. I love it. And one thing I didn't play around with at all last time is roundabouts. Look at this. We've got these uh, roundabouts we can use, which are actually pretty good for organizing traffic. We could put one like there, I guess. Um, or not. <laughs> We can put these rounds up so people can, can kind of get in and get out of the city a lot easier. I think I might put one. Um, we could put one there. That would, that would mean selling this, which is not really something I want to do. But I do want a roundabout somewhere. I might put one there, like that. And then kind of maybe link this up with that eventually. And, and have some shops somewhere. I might have shops inside the roundabout. Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe just down here. You don't want too many intersections either. Intersections are a big uh, a big no-no when it comes to traffic. They do cause a lot of uh, bad things to happen. I guess we could do something like this. Maybe hook that up. I really don't want to hook that up though. Uh, let's do... Okay, let's do this. Let's bring that around. And then let's hook those up. Like that. Now, we don't want to spend too much money because we do have to set up water and power. Otherwise, people get really pissed really quickly. So, we'll set down, I think, a little bit of uh, kind of commercial like here maybe or maybe on the outside yeah we'll kind of do it on the outside here we'll put some there and there that could be a little bit of commercial so we have some residential we have some industrial we have some commercial i'm going to click play and people should start to move into my city and i'm going to keep it slow i'm going to slow it right down to start with because whilst people are moving in we want to set up water and power now we do have this water tower uh, the water tower provides a water source for areas that do not have, uh, do not allow a pumping station to be built. So I think we might start off with the water tower. Simply because I don't want to have a pump and a sewage pipe both on this end of the town. So I'm thinking we'll set up, it is noisy, you can see those little headphones there. So I might set it up over in the industrial district for now, kind of there. And then it says, what does it say? It's not connected. Uh, multiple problems. It has... Building needs, uh, do, oh, it needs connection to a water pipe? Okay, we can do that. And we'll do something like this. Again, I kind of like to follow the roads. And then we do need power. So for power, I think coal power works, but it's, it's, I don't know. Coal power works. It's not too expensive, and it gets you a lot of power. It gets you 40 kilowatts, which I'm going to pause the game, actually, because people are already moving in and getting kind of annoyed. Wind turbines are also kind of cool. They're a bit less expensive, but don't produce anywhere near enough power, as much power. Uh, how are we for wind? We're pretty good. I mean, we are pretty good. I do kind of like these wind turbines. You can put these uh, in the water, and they produce quite a bit. Uh, I think to start with, again, we are going to go with a coal power plant. Because it's just the, the price to performance ratio on a coal power plant is just kind of crazy. So I'm going to put that right about there. Actually, I'm going to put it kind of there. And then we are going to have to put some of these down to start with. But I think that's going to be a better idea than what we did before. Yeah, we'll put that there. Uh, for industrial and commercial, it should kind of just spread by buildings, hopefully. But we are going to definitely have to have some here. And then we will go ahead and set up a sewage pipe right over here outside the city. The water is moving this way very slightly. So I'm going to put it down right on the edge there. And, of course, we are going to have to go ahead and hook that up as well with a bunch of pylons. That's going to be rather expensive, but it should hopefully pay off in the long run. There we go. We might be able to put down uh, a pump here eventually. I'll see how it works. I'll see, we'll leave this here. I'll see how much it spreads. And if it spreads massively, then we won't bother. If it's kind of starting to move this way, we might stick a pump down here. Uh, and that will probably solve quite a few of our water issues. So I, was, I assume that it's going to be very... Uh, we're going to need quite a lot of these water towers in order to make everything work. And we're out of money, which is a terrible way to start. Because... Oh, no. That's terrible. That's terrible. Because uh, we're not going to make... Oh, we've got a little bit of money. We've got a little bit of money. Can we get... Oh, we can get... We can get a few people water. 
which is going to make a few people happy. But now we're in the red. Pretty badly. Ooh. Hopefully we haven't made a complete mess of this right off the bat. It is kind of standard to be a bit in debt when you start. We can't do anything with taxes or loans until we get 320 people. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. So we start losing money really, really quick. Um, We could get a little bit of a refund for demolishing some of these. But we are very in the red to the point where that might not really help all that much. Um, hmm. We can get a big refund by getting rid of our coal plant. But we did. How much did we spend on that? 19,000. We can get 14,000 back. Ah, I think we're going to have to do it. Yes. And the reason why is because we need these water pipes. Without water pipes, people get really mad. So we'll do that, and then we'll stick down a wind turbine right here. Uh, we could put it... Mm, I'm going to put it here. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll quickly kind of hook this up with pylons. All right. Not the best. Not the best uh, start there, uh, I must admit. But... People do now have water, or should now have water. Oh, they don't. The um, we need to hook this guy up, don't we? Oh, he is hooked up. Why are, you, why are you complaining about water? Oh, did it not reach far enough? Do we need, like, another water tower over here? Uh, I guess maybe we do. Um, Let's stick it there. I will click play. Okay, that worked. That worked. Power should start to just spread. It did, it did. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Everything seems to be working okay now. Before we go too far in the red, let's get some power over to these guys. Boom. Okay, okay. I'm happy with that. The reason why I'm happy with that is because now everyone has power. Everyone has water, I think. Yes, the industrial area has water and power. Everyone has water and power. Things... Oh, no, they don't. Nope, they don't. You don't have water yet. That was a close save because we are very close to... Oh, no, we can't afford to make the pipes. Oh, oh no, it's horrible. That's horrible. We're so close to being able to afford to put those pipes down. I am sorry, commercial residents. You are just going to have to live without it for now. Hopefully, the commercial don't make up too much of our uh, our money. And we are coming up very quickly on our 340 people. So once we hit those 340 people, uh, every time we hit a little milestone, we actually do get a little bit of a cash infusion. And we also get the option to, uh, to raise taxes and, and do loans as well. So hopefully we can get into some of those. I think I might get rid of this. Like that. Looks kind of a little bit nicer. The population is on the rise still, so that's nice. Uh, we are kind of running out of residential areas. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and throw some down. Kind of over here. And I think down here as well for the time being. Like I said, don't want to fill these up at all just yet. And things things are looking good. Kind of. We're still in the negative. But that, that's kind of to be expected. Once people move in and once we get a lot more industry, things should uh, start looking better. What's up with you? Oh, he's fine. Something was wrong with Frank's fish stick factory, but now he's fine. He's fine. We're almost there on the 340 people. I'm going to speed things up just a little bit. And we should be able to get there. Hopefully. These roads were pretty expensive to go down to begin with. We've got these six lane ones here. which, But in the long run, it should be a good idea. They should help with traffic an awful lot. And I'm kind of just waiting for this to go up now. That number is going up very slowly. Very, very slowly indeed. Like, it used to be at 100 and now it's at 10. So it could take us a few weeks to get up there. And we are negative 2,000, which is not great. Uh, I must say, we're plus seven. I, we just need to, as soon as we get there, we can start to move back into the green. But we just need to push that little bit to get into the, get that first little infusion of cash. And then we, uh, then we can be good to go. Then we can get the ball rolling. I think the thing that's holding us back right now is, is the water over here. It's, it's not good. There we go, 340. Look, we did it. Is that another first milestone? Wait, what? I was sure it was 340. Since when did it become 500? What? Well, okay. That's fine. The population is still on the rise. So that's good. These guys are complaining about power. And rightfully so, because we have none. Um. Um. Okay, now, now what we have to do is hope that we get to 500 people before people start realizing they've got no power and leave. So I'm just putting my faith in the hand of the game right now. We can't yet uh, implement any policies, so we can't regulate the energy in any meaningful way. We just have to hope that people don't leave before we get to 500. 
On the bright side, people are moving in. There is an abandoned building here. I'm not surprised. He's had no water for like a few months now. We'll just get rid of all of those, I guess. Uh, they'll stop complaining. We are getting close. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Yay, we did it. Okay, congratulations. We unlocked taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. Good stuff, good stuff. We did get that little cash, cash infusion. Gonna stop that there. We're gonna cook up some water pipes to this area as well as all the way along there. Boom. Everyone should now have access to water which is good. And then everyone does need access to power. I think for now, because we can't quite afford this guy, we'll just stick down another turbine in here. Gonna produce an extra seven. Do I want to put down another one? Not just yet. Not just yet. Uh, and we'll also stick down a landfill site. Now, uh, like I said, garbage was a big problem uh, last time around. I'm not quite sure what's up with garbage, but uh, it was pretty bad. And uh, I also didn't really notice the green lines that come up. They kind of show you where uh, it's going to be able to affect. And the same is true for, like, um, these medical centers. I can't really show you with this because uh, we can't put one down yet. But it kind of affects a certain area. I thought we just need to put one down. It kind of affect the whole city. But that's not really how it works at all. So we'll start with the landfill site. Um, I have this feeling that I don't want to put it where people are going to see it. But I don't really think that's the best way to go about it. I think people are a lot less picky than I think. So I'm going to put it here. Because that green road kind of affects everyone. So the garbage should be... Everyone should be okay for garbage. At least to start off with. They should be fine for power and water now. We are okay on our power. Electricity should go up as soon as we hit play. Should. He says. Scared that it doesn't. There we go. It went up. Whew. So we're now producing 15 megawatts and using 10. Everything's looking okay. Population is still on the rise. Which is good. Money is still on the decline, but hopefully that should change pretty soon. And we can also, I think, take out this loan now, and I will do that. I'll take that out, and I'm going to stop the game again. We're going to set up a few more places for residential. Now, I am a bit dubious as to setting up the little grid pattern that we had before, because the grid pattern kind of resulted in, in a lot of congestion. Of course, like I said, intersections don't really board all of that well. So what I think I might do instead... Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of space here, though. We do kind of need to use this space to our advantage. So I guess what I might do is something like this. But not hook it up at the end, maybe? Let's turn off snapping. Oh, I, don't, I want it to be straight. And these power cables are making it impossible. Uh, can we move those? Uh, I guess we could. I guess we could set up some like that and then demolish these. That should work. Obviously, the more people that come into our town, uh, the better. Because obviously, they're all paying tax. They're all contributing towards us not going completely bankrupt. And the cool thing about these is they actually, if we line it up just right like that, um, you can actually turn around at the end. You can just like loop around and go home. So we don't have to connect them up to any of the roads. So what I think I might do is do that and then maybe do one more. And just get us a little bit more, here we go, space for people to live in. Again, we'll hook it up kind of just there. I'm going to try and make this city as even as I can. Because last time, the city was just horrible. I mean, this is not even at all. But just in regards to straight lines, I want as many straight lines as we can. Because last time, we did an absolutely terrible job of keeping our lines straight. Look at that. That's perfect. Why can't the box always be that beautiful? Uh, I don't want any on that main road, of course, still. I kind of want to keep it just like that. And we'll hit play again. So we've got places for people to move into. We do need a little bit more commercial. I think I'll put some down. Actually, I don't know. There's a demand for commercial, but no one's filling up this space yet. So I'm just going to leave that. Same is true for industrial. We've got a demand, but no one's really filling this up yet. So I'm just going to leave everything where it is and, and kind of hope that things work themselves out. Now, my concern right now in regards to traffic is that the only way out of the city is kind of round here, down, and out. And if these intersections get too busy then it's going to be a bit of a pain getting out of the city, which is somewhere people do, something people do a lot. They try and leave, which <laughs> I don't know if it's really a good thing, but it's also kind of people bringing things in and out of the city. So, so yeah. All right, y'all complained about water. That is understandable. I do want to pause the game again and make sure that everyone has water before we continue. I'm going to try and be as efficient as I can with, uh, with paying for these pipes. I'm actually going to move it over a little bit. Like I said, try and get as much area coverage as we can with paying the least amount that is humanly possible and this looks absolutely awful but 
it works. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it and just hope that things work themselves out. We are still in the positive on the amount of money that we have, but we are still losing money. One thing we can do to combat that is kind of slightly bump up tax to about 10%. That 1% might not seem like a lot, but it actually does kind of build up. If we do that, we should see our money kind of go up pretty quickly. You can see we're slowly making our way towards the green again. Really, really, really slowly. And we're there. Nice. We're making $12.39, $78 a month. That is beautiful. And everyone seems happy. You know, no one's really complaining. We haven't had any houses burned down yet, which is good. Uh, no one's getting sick, although we don't have a medical center. Uh, we should really get an elementary school down fairly quickly because education uh, is important. When we start bringing in officers and stuff like that, they will complain uh, if your citizens are not well enough educated. We are, again, running out of power. My gosh. One downside to the wind turbines is they do not produce all the power at all. At all. Now, one problem we made last time was implementing a few of these policies uh, over here. I can't quite show you them yet. But things like the fire alarm and uh, energy, usage pol energy usage policy uh, only cost something like five cents per house. But when you've got hundreds, if not thousands of houses, it can cost you thousands of dollars a month, which is ridiculous. In, uh, in the last save, uh, after b between episodes, I went ahead and just turned off the... Um, the what is it called is it smoke detectors the smoke detectors policy and we made like an extra two thousand a month it was kind of crazy uh hopefully really quickly here we can get back up to uh the six thousand we need to get another wind turbine at which time people will stop complaining we did get our cash infusion we've reached a thousand people uh, and we've now unlocked policies and new areas nice so we'll stick that down right away people complaining is not a good thing we don't want any abandoned buildings. And we've unlocked the ability to buy a new area. Not going to do this just yet. Uh, we did this before. And I think we kind of rushed into it a bit much. N there's not really no point, I don't think, in buying a new area until we've kind of filled up this one. Or unless we really need to build something on the very edge here. Uh, in a previous save uh, that I was doing single player, I have had some issues with roads being built like kind of too close to this line. And I've had to buy um, another area just to upgrade the roads, which was uh, a bit of a pain, but kind of worked itself out. Still a bit of demand for industrial, although it is kind of still working itself out over there. They haven't quite filled up all the areas, so I'm fine with that. We're up to $700 a month, which a week, sorry, which is uh, kind of cool. We're making money, which is always good. 70 new people uh, a week as well, which is always nice. Our residential is not quite filled in yet, so we'll kind of leave that as it is. Like I said, nothing's really filled in yet. We can go ahead and create a few districts. Uh, again, I kind of, I think what we'll do is we'll make one for housing. That's kind of around here. And again, if you come up with any cool names for districts, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I will go ahead and just grab one of those and, and stick it in. We'll put one there. We're, I don't want We don't want to name it Brook Park. Do we want a better name? Uh, we'll stick one here for the industry. And then we'll stick a final one kind of like here for now that's going to be the commercial. Now, we might move these uh, at some point as we kind of build up and do more stuff. But this looks kind of cool to me for now. And look at this. It's like... We've actually done a somewhat good job of keeping the line straight. Can you believe it? Uh, I also really like to kind of just zoom in on the on the city itself. Look at this. I love it. Look at this road. Wouldn't you love to live here? It's a very tropical place. Look at this. We're like we're like in uh, in a very tropical country. I love it. I love it. You would love to live in New Isaacville 2.0. It is all all the rage. These guys. If you have water, if you have water, then it's all the rage. If you don't. It could be a bit of a bad place to live, but things seem to be doing actually okay. Again, power is, my gosh, like the biggest issue in the world. Let's go ahead and stick down another one of these. Seven megawatts is beautiful. Set policies. We could set some policies. I'm not going to. Uh, like I say here, smoke detector distribution. Upkeep is five cents per building, which might not sound a lot, but we have a lot of buildings. And that does rack up pretty flipping quickly. And uh, I think one of the last things we'll do here is we'll kind of tilt a little bit. And we'll build one more road just... Oh, I apologize. I'm kind of swizzling a lot. We'll build one more road here for some more residential. Like that. There we go. Got rid of the pylons. Uh, that might be okay, actually. And then we'll go ahead and just rezone that again with a little bit more residential. Hopefully, this marquee tool is going to work nicely. It is beautiful. Look at that. Boom. You can go there. I do not want any houses being built here. And I know if I leave it, someone's going to jump on it and build like the world's smallest shack over here on our main road, which is not what we want. Get out of here. Get out of here. You don't have permission to build there. Uh, that looks good. That looks good. Don't think I'm going to put another road there because it's probably not going to work. It's going to be a really weird and uneven. And I'm going to hate it forever and ever and ever. But things look good. We're making quite a lot of money per week. 
people, not so much, but I think that's because we didn't have enough space for some new houses, which we now do have, which is kind of nice. And overall, things are looking good. Gonna put down a fire... Oh, I really want to put out a fire department first. Did we unlock the next loan? We did. We'll take that out. And we'll get a primary school, an elementary school here. In, in the UK, we call them primary schools. And as you can see, the green line kind of indicates the areas that they're going to cover. Now, don't really want it next to the landfill site. I'm going to put it... Do I want to put it there? Kind of on the edge? I think we might. That gets a lot of people... A lot of this zone is happy. This end, not so much. Uh, if we wanted to combat that, we could put another one down. We will do that in the future, but not just yet. Fire department is a big thing. My gosh, the amount of fires that we have is insane. I'm going to put one down. With fire departments, I'm going to put one here, which makes everyone happy. And although it's kind of expensive, it's 12,000. I'm going to put one over here because the amount of fires that happen in the industrial district is, is crazy. Police, I think we're going to hold off on for now. Medical care, apparently we cannot. We'll set one of these up. Uh, let's see. Where can we set one of these up that doesn't look ridiculous? We'll set one of these up here. Yeah. That covers most of our residential area, which is kind of where we want it the most. People are going to come home from work and go to the medic if they need to, like on the weekends or something. They're not going to go in, in work time. Uh, at least I hope not. And I think with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. This city receives the first fire engines. Citizens already feel safer than before. Hashtag fireproof. But, uh, but yeah, we're in the positive. It is going down. Which is kind of scary. We are still getting people, though, which is nice. Uh, this guy is already sick, which is not good at all. Uh, I guess we can stick down another. He's just outside of his, his medical care reach. So we'll stick down another one kind of on the end here. Unfortunately, that doesn't really give us much access to everybody else uh, unless we hook these roads up, which we might do. Uh, but we'll, we'll stick another little medical center down there, which will hopefully cure the sickness. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching. If you're looking forward to seeing what happens with uh, Isaacville, two, new Isaacville 2.0, uh, be sure to leave a like and tell me down in the comment section what you think we should name these districts. And I will see you guys next time.